All right, I know you guys heard the saying, better late than never, right? Because I'm a little late, but I'm here. So, I got tagged by my guy, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, to do the top 10 niche for life. So, similar to the top 10 designer for life I did, so I have to pick 10 fragrances that are niche that I cannot live without. So, I will admit this was a lot tougher than the designer list was because the designer list there's just some that stand out and it's like easy for this one I had about five of them that were easy the other five or I would say about the other six it was a battle it was a battle if it is your first time on my channel I'm Lee welcome to Lee style and fragrance here I discuss various topics like men's style fragrance do some vlogs, a little bit of grooming, and I also throw a dash of confidence at you. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Hellasef fam. You guys are the best, but you already know this. If any of those topics interest you, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification, so every time I drop a video, you guys will be first in line. Initially, when I made this list, I wasn't going to put it in order because it was going to be easier. But I seen my guy that tagged me, he put them in order, so I had to. So, without further ado, I'm about to step in it in a second. So, for the number 10 spot, you have Velvet Wood by Dolce & Gabbana. This is one of their private lines. Wow, when I first smelled this. You got notable notes of benzoin, ebony, and leather. This smells absolutely phenomenal. It smells rich. I mean, look at the dent I put in it. All right, no lie, the dent I put in it is due to the performance, and that is why it's number 10 on my list. If it performed well, it'll be much higher on my list, but as far as the overall smell, absolutely amazing. This is something that I wear more in the fall because of how woodsy and sweet it is. This is something that I would dress up. I don't see, I don't really see you pulling this off dressed down. So either casual, dressy, or suit and tie. So number 10, once again, you got Velvet Wood by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, for the number 9 spot, you got Baldia Freak by By Rado. Now, this snuck up on me. And I thank you, Manny, for putting me onto this. This is magnificent. This is one of the best floral scents I have ever put my nose on. You got some cedar, some violet, some neroli, and it's blended together so well. This is something that I will wear in the spring and the summertime because of how fresh it is. So for the number nine spot, you have Baldi Afrique by Byredo. It's kind of weird, by Byredo, but <laughs> whatever. Number eight, so this is actually my best blind buy and it is X-Batch by Pineapple Vintage. Wow, it's crazy because you're talking about the king of designer, which a lot of people will say Dior Sauvage is. Then you have the king of niche, which a lot of people will say is Creed Aventus. And this took the DNA of both of them and created something new. So you have that pineapple and apple opening from Aventus, and you have the muskiness from Sauvage, and you remove that screeching metallic opening then you create a masterpiece. The performance of this, the compliments, this is something that I will always have in my collection. I was actually mad when I first bought the bottle because I was like, man, this is a one ounce, which I usually buy, but I was like, this looks small. And I was automatically thinking about getting another bottle. Goes to show you how good it is, guys. Number eight, you have X-Batch by Pineapple Vintage. So, number seven, you have Uden Bergamot by Joe Malone. No lie, I fell in love with this. This is one of the smoothest, sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled. And it's a subtle oud. You have noticeable notes of cedar, bergamot, and oud, of course. But man, it's just so classy. It's so inoffensive. It's, it's really smooth. I absolutely love it. Tom, thank you so much for putting me onto this. Because I've smelled Joe Malone's, but for some reason I've never smelled this one. This is definitely on my list. This is something that I would wear in the fall and winter, but it's so subtle that you can actually pull it off all season. This is something that I wear in the office if I'm dressed up. 
even if I'm slightly dressed down, like casual, but still kind of dressy, I would say that's more fitting for this fragrance. Once again, number seven, Oud and Bergamot by Jo Malone. Now, number six on the list, you have Millicene Imperial by Creed. Man, the watermelon opening, the salt, the musk, how it's, it's just royal, it's fresh, it is summer royalty in a bottle. It smells absolutely phenomenal and every time people smell it, they're just like, wow. It just, it smells rich, it smells like money. Absolutely love it. And I would say summer beach office scent. This is very safe, it's very inoffensive. I absolutely love it. This will be in my collection forever. Number six spot, you got Millicene Imperial by Creed. All right, top five, top five. So starting off top five, you got Tom Ford's Plum Japanoise. I don't know if I said that right. I don't care. It smells absolutely phenomenal. One of the best plums I have ever smelled. And I love plum. That is one of my all-time favorite notes. So you're going to have noticeable notes of vanilla, saffron, and oud. It smells absolutely luxurious. It smells delicious. This is definitely black tie event. You cannot pull this off if you're not highly dressed up. So for the number five spot, you have Tom Ford's Plum Japanoise. All right, so for the number four spot, you are looking at Vetiver Fatal. Thank you so much, Jesse, for putting me onto this. This is amazing. This is summer, spring in a bottle. It's sweet, it's sophisticated, it's fresh, it's versatile. You have some noticeable notes of sweet fig, some oranges, some woody notes, some floral notes. This is something that you can wear with just about anything. And I feel like you could wear this three out of the four seasons, excluding winter. This is not something that I would really reach for in the winter because it doesn't project that great. But this is definitely something I wear the other three. So for the number four spot, you are looking at Vetiver Fatal by Atelier. I'm gonna have to give you another shout out, my man Jesse, because this is another one he put me on. And this is Grand Soir by Mason Karkshan. Now, it's crazy because I know I haven't smelled this before, and when I smelled it a few months ago, wow, this took me on a journey. The amber, the vanilla, that creamy tonka. This is a masterpiece. This is masterful perfumery at its finest. This is one of the finest ambers that I have ever put my nose on. It is unisex and this is something that the ladies absolutely love. This is something men absolutely love. The compliment factor on this is out of this world. This is something that I will pay full price easily. I will pay retail price for this. This is how good this is. Wow. Wow. Like, I don't even have words for it. This is something I would wear more in the fall and winter. This is also something that I would dress up, but if you are if you have casual, you still have to be a little bit dressed up to pull off this look, but it is versatile enough that if you're not really that dressed up, now I'm not talking about sweats, can't really rock this with some sweats, but if you're not really dressed up that much, you can also pull this, this fragrance off. Number three, you got Grand Soir by Mason Kirkshaw. Number two, Wow, this is one of my all-time favorite fragrance ever. And this is actually my favorite Creed fragrance. But it is Royal Oud. This is absolute, it, it's worthy of the name Royal Oud. Now, as far as the Oud part, you're not gonna get much Oud on it. I'm not gonna lie, you get more cedar. Then you have a splash of Oud in there and you have some lemon. And the way it's blended, it's amazing. It's masculine. This is definitely a gentleman's fragrance. It kind of has a James Bond feel to it. It's very versatile. And the fact that it's subtle, even on a cooler summer night, this is something that I wear. Probably more in the spring, though. Now, this is something that I wear more in the fall, though. In the fall, I feel like this is a perfect fragrance. It's subtle. It's not overbearing. It's it's magnificent, and this is something that I would totally dress up. So number two, you got Royal Oud by Creed. All right, and now for the number one spot, what could it be? 
It is another Tom Ford's private blend and it is none other than Tuscan Leather. Wow, this is one of my all time favorite scents ever. This smells absolutely phenomenal. Now, I do hear talks on the opening of this smelling like cocaine. Now, I have no idea what the opening of cocaine smells like. Give me a second. But I will tell you that I definitely got addicted to this smell. No pun intended. But man, like it's it just has layers and depth and it's rich, it's strong. I've smelled clones of or I would say fragrances that smell similar, but it just it wasn't as it didn't have that stature that Tuscan leather has. You've got some sweet raspberry and some rich saffron and some rich leather and jasmine. It's I don't even have words for it. It's intoxicating. This is one of the best smelling fragrances I have ever smelled. And anybody that I put this in front of, even if they're not absolutely in love with it, I haven't heard anybody say, well, this doesn't really smell good. I've never heard anybody say that. The compliment factor and the performance is out of this world. This is another fragrance that I would definitely pay retail for. Now, I do kind of feel like Tom Ford is a little overpriced, but for Tuscan Leather, I would definitely pay retail for it. And if this was ever discontinued, I would pay discontinued prices for this. This is how much I love this scent, guys. So, number one spot, you have Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. All right, so the three people I want to tag first on the list is my man Jesse because you inspired two of these picks. And I know you got some fire, you got a fire collection. So I'm really interested in seeing your top 10. So Jesse, I'm interested in seeing you do one. Number two on the list will be my guy, and I actually just discovered him on Instagram and I just subscribed to him, but um, he smells like Rome. Your collection is insane and I know you're probably gonna have the most unique one. So I really, really wanna see your list. So please, he smells like Rome, I'm tagging you last person the legend the legend the one and only hold your round of applause everybody but chad from a gentleman's journey because i don't think you've done one yet and if you have done it i haven't seen it so you need to do it again so chad please drop a top 10 so you guys are the three that i'm tagging so i expect to see a top 10 list from you guys or i'm gonna find you no not really but please come on guys if you guys are already following me on Instagram, here's my name right here, Mr. Put Together. And please, please, I would very much appreciate it if you guys dropped a like, a comment, a share, and of course, a subscribe. Hey, don't forget, smell stylish. I will see you guys next time. Peace.